The fall is my favorite time for planting. The weather is beautiful and it's a great time for planting trees, shrubs and vines. And today I'm planting this beautiful clematis here on this screen to provide a little bit of privacy between ourselves and our neighbors. Now the really neat thing about clematis is that they love to grow up things like screens and arbors and trellis. And here I'm using this beautiful variety which is called Crystal Fountain. Now this has got really unusual semi-double flowers here that as you see are carried in great profusion. And I'm planting it here at the base of this screen where it will grow up to about six foot or so and provide lots of color as well as screening. Now the important thing when it comes to growing clematis is two things. The first is they like to have a nice sunny location. But the most important thing of all, it has to be in a soil that's free draining. Then dig a hole that's about twice the size of the pot. Now I'm planting this nice big specimen here and that's another advantage of planting in the fall. The plants have had the whole of the season to grow, the spring and the summer, so you can pick up really beautiful plants at the garden center. Now the next thing I strongly recommend is that you use some soil conditioner. This is well worth investing in. This is organic compost that when you put it into the soil helps to really encourage a nice strong root system. And when you put it in the bottom of the hole, mix it in a little bit with the existing soil and as you see that will provide a really nice medium for the roots to grow into. It'll help conserve moisture and also provide nutrient to get them started. Then remove the pot so that you can put the plant in the hole and aha look what's happening here if I can show you where my finger is. You see the white tip to the root here that shows why fall planting is so important because these roots are actively growing now at this time of year and when we take this plant and put it into the newly created planting space for it guess what's going to happen it's going to grow very vigorously underneath the ground so those roots are actively growing just backfill the soil around it and then finally just firm it around so that you get nice contact between the roots and the soil. Then the last and very important step is to give it a good watering in. Then I suggest you put down a layer of mulch. That will help to keep the moisture in the soil. It will also help to insulate it and keep the warmth going a little later into the fall but most importantly of all, and especially if you renew it in the springtime, you'll find that this will help to keep the roots nice and cool during the hot summer months. Because if there's one thing Clematis likes, is that they love to have their tops in the sun, but their roots nice and cool. So by putting on the mulch, you'll be able to keep a nice cool root run and they will do beautifully. Then the very last thing that we have to do is to label the plant. And that's the really neat thing about Garden Splendor plants. They come with these permanent markers that are made from anodized aluminum so they stand up to the weather. They've got the plastic one with all the information on it, but this is the one that when you get at home, you just snip off the tops of the tag, off comes the little metal marker, and you're able to push that into the ground near the plant, and then you'll be able to know what the name of the plant was, and also remind you of the website so you can go for more information. So in summary, Fall is a fantastic time for planting because the roots get beautifully established now in the fall and then come the spring they are poised to explode into growth and you will have fantastic plants in your garden. This is David Wilson. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment too. Garden
splendor, the plants worth remembering.